Today I'm pleased to share a major announcement of new funding to protect folks in continuing care from uh, long-term care to DSL or designated supportive living and uh, as well as uh, residents in our seniors lodges in this province. Now these uh, residents are at the highest risk from COVID-19 and the operators of these facilities uh, have been doing their best to protect them. But the operators have rightly raised concerns about the costs of complying with public health orders that we put in place. So today I'm announcing funding of more than $14 million per month or $170 million per year to these operators. This funding, and uh, this is important, will be retroactive to March 15th of this year. It will cover enhanced staffing as well as costs for cleaning supplies and loss of accommodation revenue due to vacant beds and uh, rent freezes. And it's going to be maintained throughout all stages of Alberta's relaunch until the public health orders are lifted and the threat of COVID-19 has passed. More than 70% of COVID-19 deaths in this province are in our continuing care facilities. The reality is that these residents are vulnerable to the pandemic and they'll continue to be until there is an effective vaccine uh, to be found. And it's essential that we ensure these facilities have the tools and they have the resources that they need to protect their residents and their staff. Funding for extra staffing will support frontline staff, including RNs, registered nurses, LPNs, um, and as well our healthcare aides or uh, HCAs. And uh, it will help augment staffing levels when healthcare workers are sick or self-isolating. Now I should note this new funding announced today is on top of the previously announced funding to increase healthcare aid staff levels and to top up, uh, top up their wages by $2 an hour. Operators received uh, $12.4 million last week. The wage top up is retroactive to April 20th of this year and the healthcare aides should see the, the top up in their next pay period. This funding increase is the right thing to do for vulnerable seniors and it's also a, a critical part of our relaunch strategy in Alberta. We need to get Albertans back to work and enjoying this province but in order to do that safely we need to protect the people who are the most at risk. I'm very much uh, aware of the toll that COVID has taken on staff and residents at these facilities and their families. And our government is committed to doing everything that we can to help. Our focus from the day the pandemic was declared has been to keep residents and employees safe, to create environments that support residents' quality of life in times of physical distancing by delivering creative programming, which includes keeping residents and families as connected as possible. We are very thankful for our care teams and all that they do to support our residents during this difficult and somewhat confusing time. We also extend thanks to our families and our, of our residents for their understanding during this time of restricted visitation. We know it has been difficult and we thank you for your ongoing support. Continuing care operators are facing unprecedented challenges associated with the COVID-19 pandemic. Over the past two months, we have been faced with increasing costs associated with augmented staffing, the need for more equipment and supplies to help us respond to health orders, as well as declining revenues related to accommodation fees. This Government of Alberta funding will bring much needed relief to help offset some of the increased costs associated with operating during the pandemic. As operators, we are responsible for caring for seniors, the most vulnerable demographic of people who are most susceptible to COVID-19. The ACCA is thankful for the open dialogue we have with Alberta Health and Alberta Health Services. We sincerely appreciate their collaboration, support and guidance as we deal with the many complexities of providing care and services to seniors during the pandemic. Again, thank you to Premier Kenny, Minister Shandro for providing much needed financial relief to our members. Thank you to Dr. Hinshaw for your ongoing leadership. The government's investment will help us to ensure that we continue to offer the very best care possible across the province.